Well, you know what? One event has found a way to not only help us with our holiday shopping, but feed us, entertain us, and help several local nonprofits all at the same time. Isla Abernathy and Anna Hacker are here to tell us how that is all possible with the St. Michael's International Holiday Bazaar. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thanks for inviting us. Uh, first, ladies, what kind of sets this bazaar apart from maybe some other uh, events that go on this time of year? Well, the only vendors are small socially committed nonprofit groups, and we give them free space. They just take all their money home. But what makes the bazaar work is for the community to come. And particularly this year, we have Tongana Autumn coming over all the way from Topawa, which is south of Sells. They're driving 100 miles to sell you fry bread Ooh. On, uh, on Saturday. Well, Saturday I did, only. I yeah. did say that you're going to um, help local nonprofits. That's what yes. you were just talking about. Feed us. You talked about the fry bread. Yes. And then I did say you're going to help us with some shopping. And you've brought some of the items here with you today, right? Uh, yes, we did. Um, I also coordinate St. Michael's Guatemala project, but we have a, a guest of honor, Anna, who has a project in Afghanistan that not too many people know about, know about. So there are many local projects that are working all the way around the world, uh, but we do have some that are strictly local. Okay. Uh, Ben's Bells will be there. Yes. And uh, with uh, more, they say they're more than just bells, and they will be there with kindness oriented stuff. We're the only place in Tucson where you can find things from 10,000 villages. We have a selection um, at reasonable prices, um, little ornaments. And uh, we always say that international begins with local. Yeah. And so there's wonderful representation of the people who were here before in, uh, Anglo Europeans got here. Uh, the Autumn, Yoemi, and other groups, and that means actually we're the international visitors, and we thank them for letting us use their land. We have some information. We have a few collectibles, uh, Native American stuff, and books to explain them. And Beagle Rescue. And I was going to say, and the dog in the middle. <laughs> I uh, love that's your Beagle doorstop. Oh. And, uh, and I actually have a piece in my lap right now, correct? Uh, yes, that is a we peel uh, a woman's blouse, uh, Ishil Maya. Uh, the designs identify the woman as from the Ishil area community of Neba. Oh, this is and beautiful. And I, I know you mentioned it kind of just softly just a, a moment ago about the different projects uh, and Anna being uh, a guest of honor. Tell me more about the project. Well, I'm an overseas person. I spent my working life for 35 years overseas in a variety of places. And wherever we go, there's one place that always is in your heart. Mine was Afghanistan. I was there in the 70s, a totally different time than later on in its history. And after 9-11, I was asked to bring a person to an educational sales meeting, and I did. And I went back to Afghanistan because I wanted to find a girl and I'll fund her. And I went there, and I ended up building a center for street working children and uh, vulnerable women. And so some of the things that we have from Afghanistan are made there. Oh, wow. And lapis is one of its beautiful projects. That I, then this is a real lapis bowl that you will not be finding anywhere. Wow. And I hand carried some back. I was just in Dubai meeting with the coordinator. Wow. And then I got, and I ask, I have two or three dealers there that always give me special pricing because they know all the money goes back to their country. So there's lapis jewelry and it's not faint, it's not yeah. colored blue stone, et cetera. Wow. And I mean, everything from something you, you brought by, by your own hand all yes, the way from right. Afghanistan, uh, from Ben's Bells to the Beagle Rescue, mm -hmm. we really do have everything you could possibly need. Mm -hmm. And you also did uh, a, a trip and, and uh, a project that's close to your heart also. Well, this is St. Michael's in uh, Guatemala project, and we have a 24-year relation, relationship with E. Shilenki Che Maya, and these are some of the youngsters. We aren't a medical, or not a medical mission. We're in solidarity with Maya indigenous who went back into the mountains. The children you saw in the last picture were waiting to get a fluoride application we had brought down, and you could see how rural things are, uh, this little house. This child is waiting to receive benefit from a special fund we have called Legado Elizabeth that helps children who need more help than they can get in the communities. 
Well, I love that we're getting to see uh, some of the pictures of, of the work that you do and who benefits from the work, from the projects, and mm -hmm. uh, really kind of get a, a better understanding of the bazaar, the money, the funds, where it all ends up. Uh, and we can feel a little extra better, you know, inside of our heart, mm -hmm. knowing that that's where these purchases are mm -hmm. going to be going. Uh, I'm going to remind everybody when this is happening. Uh, we have the food, we have the shopping, we have entertainment as well uh, going on. So this is going to be a great opportunity mm -hmm. for us. Ladies, thank yes. you so much for coming. You're welcome. Thank you for receiving us. This was yes. wonderful. The St. Michael's International Holiday Bazaar is taking place Saturday and Sunday at the St. Michael and All Angels Episcopal Church. To learn more, please visit smallangelstucson.org or call 520-886-7292.